Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai with the Fall of the Dragon Empire mod. Today we're going to take a look a little bit more at the ship models that this mod provides. We didn't get to see a lot of that in the campaign, so I thought it'd be interesting to do uh, some videos around that. So this scenario that I made in Custom Battle is going to be based on the Battle of Tsushima where the Japanese Navy absolutely destroys the Russian one. And, um, I mean, it's, so, it's loosely based on this because we do have uh, the Mikasa, which was uh, Admiral Togo's flagship, so that is accurate. And uh, we do have the Russian Admiral situated in a Borodino-class um, ship. Although it's not named like his ones. Oh, we've got the starting salvos here. In terms of the fleets, I've got three pre-dreadnought battleships, while the Russians have four. And then, uh, in uh, and then beyond that, we've got a lot of cruisers. Uh, we've got, I've got. Uh, let's see. There's a total of. Eight ships, I believe. Or is it nine? There's a lot of them. We are taking quite a bit of damage. I need to return fire on the uh, enemy's admiral. Great hit here. We are uh, taking quite a bit of hits as well. Not too bad as of yet. He's steaming forwards here. He's about to get into a crossfire in between my admiral ship and the dreadnought Shikishima. And then we also have... I have two Shikishimas. Um, besides then the Dreadnought Mikasa. Our general is under threat, yes, my lord. it would be nice He's if he'd actually returned us. fire. Like that. I do believe we uh, do have more guns as well. That was a good hit. He's steaming forward though. To make sure here, I'm going to order um, fire solid shot. We'll start off with solid shot. Let's see, are we ready to reload? We're going to fire on the second Russian ship here. Mm, didn't do that much. Um, it's a little bit on the aiming there. Taking My admiral ship is taking quite a lot of damage. I will circle back. Our general has fallen, my lord. Oh no, the admiral dies. This event. It might be then that the Russians... The Russian luck might have turned. Oh, I just got a critical hit on their admiral in return. In response for them killing Admiral Togo, I just uh, critical hit. Got in a good critical hit on the uh, enemy's flagship. Let's see if we can continue the good fortunes here. I've taken personal control, personal control of the Shikasama, was it? Shikishi, you know, maybe not spit. Oh, we got another critical hit and I will turn around and fire the other side towards um, the Russian fleet. So. The Russian fleet doesn't have an advantage. They have one more of the um, pre-Dreadnought battleships. Ooh, they suffered yet another critical hit. And they're down a lot in terms of crew. So they have, they have four to my three. And they also have armored cruisers uh, among all of their ships. But a large percentage of both our fleets comprise... Ooh! I think he's gone there. Alright, we avenged our Admiral by taking out the Russian one. Um, the downside to the Russians here is we just sunk their flagship while ours is still inbound. Wonderful. The Russian fleet has... They're very disorganized. But then again, they've traveled all the way 
from the Baltic. Also, this side of my fleet should uh, probably turn in. Alright, let's see if we can't get some more hits in here on the Russians. They have um, ordered their fleet into a very bad position. Although, I wonder here, once the Russian fleet starts opening fire on my small cruisers, how long will they survive? Great start with killing their Admiral. Not so great start with me losing my Admiral. Taking quite the few hits. Explosive shots all around. But I got a really good hit here on the Aurora. Which, um, it's on fire, and you can see them repairing there. I should turn up here and then lay into this battleship. Or pre-dreadnought, I should say. Good hit. I can fire... A single round went out through there. Maybe I should turn this one around. Or maybe I should be ballsy and try and go through. Be able to fire through both sides. Or maybe that's too much. As a Russian. Maybe my admiral wants to join in, take a shot. Or my admiral died. General or Admiral Togo died oh, was the first one to die. So that's not great. Oh, we took out another one. I didn't even rem saw this one. Um the Tsarovich, I think. I didn't have time to see it before it actually sunk. The Sea of Japan, or the Strait of Tsushima, Tsushima doesn't seem to be very... It seems to be very shallow. Because that ship is just sitting there. That means that they are down to... Dreadnoughts. And so far, I haven't lost a single ship. So in that sense, it is um, historically accurate, apart from my Admiral dying. Alright, let's see if we can't keep this up. I'm noticing though, there's a lot here. I'm pretty sure we're going to see my cruiser start to bow out of the fight pretty soon. This guy's been chasing me for a while. Oh, we didn't really concentrate the fire on that, sure. Oh, I was able to fire the right side of the ship. The broad side from the right side of the ship I was able to fire at. The thing is, the range of the ships, as you can see, is quite far. However, uh... Ooh, critical hit there! The Russian cruiser! Protected cruiser just sunk. So the Russians are down three ships. While I still have my fleet. Which someone's on fire. This one right here is on fire. We'll order them to go ahead and start repair. Okay, now we're gonna. Our general is under threat we're gonna go you. right into He's each other if we continue on this, uh, in this route. Right, this guy keeps chasing me. I don't seem to be able to get a good shot off on him. I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna get the uh, other side of the ship to turn on to him. And then we'll see how he likes that. See if he can't Our sink. General threat, my lord. Our he general is dead. If you don't remember. Right, we've turned. Oh, perfect hit. We've got a critical hit. You can see the flag there is burning. I think it looks like he's uh, taking on water. He's sinking. We sunk the bastard, finally. Right, I will turn around and see if we can't go after even more of the Russian fleet. The Russian fleet is doing really poorly. Although I'm not in taking con complete control 
my fleet and we're a bit all over the place. The Russian fleet is in disarray. Uh, so is mine. Good thing about mine, though, is uh, it's still... Oh! Ooh. The Admiral's ship is clearly taking on water. And uh, it's listing. Not very good. I've ordered them to start repairs. To see if we can at least stop it from sinking. But otherwise I'll, I'll try to get it out of the fight. Oh, the... <laughs> my two um, cruisers crashed into each other. Right, we're laying in a lot. So here's another Aurora. Do they have... They have one battleship over there. Oh, critical hit! Oh, critical hit on us! The Admiral ship took a critical hit to... Um, I think it was back here. Which is n very bad because a lot of the crew is stationed back there. I didn't like that. Oh! The Admiral ship listing really bad. And now on fire. We might we're about to lose, potentially lose our first ship here. I'm gonna order the cruisers to swing around. Together with the pre threadnought. These two idiots crashed into each other because I was too um, occupied with taking personal control of my ship. Good hit there. That's probably stopped him. For a while, anyways. He's still on fire. He's on fire. Oh, we've we've been able to, I guess, pump water. Yeah, we're getting pumping out the water. He's uh, oh shit. No, that was an enemy ship that exploded. But it, our ship was close enough that it set on fire as well. Oh, there goes another Russian ship. There's only two of them remaining. We've got the protected cruiser back here and their last battleship, which is on fire and surrendering. They are the Russians are abandoning the ship. I believe one of the things why the Russian fleet was doing so bad because they were traveling so far, they had to carry a lot of coal. They didn't have any place to put all the coal, so I actually put some on the deck of the ship. That didn't... that... that, that shot wasn't even close. Right, we're all gathering for the last enemy vessel. Somehow, I don't know how, we managed to get the... Um, Admiral ship back in order. A miracle. We managed to pump out all that water. Right. I think I've got the best chance to get the best hit with this ship. And right about there. And I think that's... He's a goner. As they say. He's... Uh, quite a few fires. They are uh, starting to try and repair these. Half the crew is dead though. He's going. Is he going to try and ram me? He's going straight for me. The Russian Eagle. Everyone else seems to be reluctant to even fire. Oh, I didn't notice this. This is what's left of. Can't remember what ship this is. Maybe you shouldn't go straight into the enemy admiral. Try and bypass different ships here. Maybe I should fire the final shot with my Admiral. Firing up the rear. I m missed most of the shots. Right, go up to broadside with him. Like that. 
And as soon as this guy is ready to fire, at this range, there is simply no chance that he's going to survive that. He did. He took another shot. If you can sort of go out there and you can hold. It's a shame that I lost my Admiral, but r because right now I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to be able to kill their entire fleet without having lost a single ship. It's a shame my Admiral had to die. That should have killed them, shouldn't it? I think it did. He surrendered. He's only got 50 crew left. A close, close victory! I'd say not. That was a devastating victory. Besides the Admiral dying, we ended up with a pretty historical outcome. The Russian fleet got absolutely destroyed. Wonderful victory. Let's go ahead and take a look at the statistics. Not that there's that much of statistics in terms of naval battles, but um, there's some still.
As the result of the battle, we of course deployed 10 ships against the Russians, 10 ships. And we can see we had a lot less crew on our ships, about a thousand men less actually. We had 2,800 crew, roughly, against the Russians who had closer to 4,000. Uh, I ended up losing 1,700, while the Russians lost every single one of their crew. The battle took 16 minutes to complete, and we killed 8 of the enemy ships. I guess um, they were destroyed to the point where we couldn't salvage them at all. Um, interesting to note here is they killed 800 men while I lost 1700s. I almost lost a thousand more men than what they actually killed. I do think this is though the critical hit explosions from the Russian ships that were close enough to my own ships that uh, the um, sort of the shock wave actually threw part of my crew over the board or something like that. I can imagine or just. Um, the explode, the good hits they got in on me could have uh, created shockwaves to throw them off, and not directly killing them with the explosion. Um, what we can see here is the Shikizama, um, which I think I'm guessing it probably was the one that I deployed on the left behind the Mikasa uh, that killed the most, 565. Although, as we can see here, I mean, they lost 4,000 men. Th from direct kills, there is less than um, 800 men here. Um, but we can see, we can see that it's a lot, it, it comes down to a lot of the pre-Dreadnought. And one, um, one of my cruisers actually, managed to gain quite a lot of experience. They probably got a lot of good hits in, given that um, he was able to gain so much experience. For the enemy, it is the uh, the enemy's admiral that killed the most. He was able to kill 432 of mine, followed by one of their protected cruisers, or uh, I guess uh, some sort of armored cruiser, compared to my cruisers, which were just cruisers. Um, otherwise, the Tsarevich, that one, uh, I got a critical hit pretty early on that one. He didn't have time to do much. Um, and same with the rest of their um, dreadnoughts here. Battleship. They even had a battleship. And not just... Uh, there, there's an armored cruiser. What do they mean by protected cruiser? I don't know. But, yeah. There's not much you can actually tell from this. Because it's it would be more accurate maybe to not to show lo kills and losses. And more about maybe damage taken. Sort of hull damage taken and delivered. Would have been much better way to actually see... Um, get more of an idea who did what. But since I took personal control of uh, probably this ship that I took personal control of and fired off a lot of good hits, and that's why it managed to get so many kills, but also so much experience um, from doing so much damage. And with that, we have seen uh, the first naval battle. I have another naval battle in mind, and if you have something then please go ahead and tell me, and uh, I'll see if I can make it come true. And with that, I will say, as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.